Hello, welcome to the new video from City and Kets Express. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the uh, Epson refillable cartridges that we sell. Uh, so it, it, this is going to be a generic video covering lots of different uh, ranges of cartridges that we do. I just wanted to talk about the different types that we sell uh, and then show you how to fill one. Right, so we have a few, few different variations depending on the model that you choose. So I will just get them all out and then I'll uh, talk about, basically I'm going to talk about the plugs and the cartridges on top and which is the refill hole and which is not. So these are the first variations that we have. Now you can see that they have the yellow tape at the back of the cartridge and you've got the refill hole here. So for this version, uh, the plugs are in a different place, but actually the refill hole is where the coloured plug is. Now, if you can also tell when you look at the cartridge, if you look at the cartridge closely, you can see like a little back compartment here, like a little square internally inside the cartridge. That's the breather valve. So when you fill the cartridge, you should remove the yellow tape and the air will come in here and allow the ink to flow. And again on this one, if you lift that up, you can see a back compartment there. So that's one of the versions. You just take the plug out and pour the ink in and then remove the tab here. For the other version that we have, this is an older generation cartridge, but the principle, same principle, you have the little back compartment there. So the breather hole uh, on this is this one. So it's got a clear plug. So for this variation, if you've got this, you would remove the clear plug and that is your fill hole. One last variation, same principle again, clear plug at the back, that's your breather hole and your refill hole is here at the front. And then we have our big cartridges here. So the refill hole is this one here at the back. Now you breathe the hole for the plug to be removed when it's in the printer is the one on the top. So to refill the cartridge, it's really quite straightforward to do. Just remove the clear tape, uh, the yellow tape, and taking your ink. We're going to draw in, uh, draw in around 10 ml of ink. Now with these cartridges it's quite important that you fill them fully to remain in sync. So what you shouldn't do is you shouldn't partially fill the cartridge. The chip is pre-programmed for uh, a full cartridge. So what can happen is if, if you partially fill it, you get the printer will say it's got ink in it and the cartridge is is empty when you run out because you've only partially filled it. So you should fill it to 100% mark and then pop it in the printer. Now for future refills, what we get is we get some customers that when it, the printer reports a low warning, they'll take it out and fill it up. Now what happens when you do it on a low warning is that the, the cartridge isn't empty, it's still got some in. So you will then, if you fill it on a low warning, you're gonna to top it back up to full and then it won't reset, it has to reach 0%. So what will happen is that a low warning, you'll fill it to full, and then maybe 10 minutes later, it says it's run out and it's full of ink. You've become out of sync with the chip. So the rule of thumb with the cartridge is that you fill them to full 100%, uh, you reset them and refill them when they say empty. That way you will stay in sync. So just take the syringe, pop it in the refill hole and as I said different cartridges take different volumes of ink so although I said 10 ml yeah it, your cartridge may take more or less and we're just going to fill this to 100% We're going to pop the, the plug back in. Make sure you put the plug back in the correct hole, which is your, your refill hole. 
and that's it we're done that's how you fill this this version uh, so you'll just fill the full set pop them in your printer for future refills we do recommend that you take them out of the printer when you fill them and just pop them on a piece of tissue and, and the reason that we recommend that is that when you pop it in the printer it's got an internal spring valve inside here so when you pop it in the little valve comes up and it opens it so that the ink can flow. Now if you refill it while it's in the printer the valve is open but as soon as you take that out you've got two valves open technically you've got this valve open and this valve open as well it's not a valve it's a plug but it is possible that ink can just flow straight in and straight out of the bottom so we do recommend that you take them out of the printer and refill them externally and then pop them back in rather than trying to do it in your printer and that's it, that's a quick short video just showing you the different variations of the uh, refillable cartridges that we've got for Epson printers. Thank you.